Uh, Big Kush come back at you with another vid. Um, this is Mr. Sola Brothers Grimm and Subcool on the Weed Nerd Show. Let's go. Served me when I smoked it. Like, listen, oh, man. what the fuck? I just went through that project where I reversed the genius. And I mean, that's a scary feeling because you, you know, you want to make seeds in a room. You've devoted all these females to, like, okay, they're in there, they're going to get pollinated. I'm making seeds. And then you have this female that you're spraying with silver thiosulfate and hoping it's going to reverse and make male flowers when it's a 20-year-old clone that's never so much as thrown a manner, you know? I'm like, oh, fuck, I hope this works. And lo and behold, am. you know, I got the timing a little wrong, so these buds that were on the uh, G13, they didn't get many seeds on them, but the ones that are on there are like, they look like coffee beans or, or apple seeds, you know, like where they're big and dark and everything. In fact, when I passed out all the samples to people that were testing, the thing I was hearing back was like, I got one or two didn't germ, you know, and I was like, you know what it is that they're so fucking fresh and they have such a nice fresh uh, coating on them that perianth is what it's called on the outside of the seed. You have to scratch that off a little bit because they're so new. And then uh, the water will soak in better, and you'll be all right. We and always let, let, for release. We always let our seeds sit around for about a month because we've noticed if we release them too fresh, we get fucked. Yeah, man, a month is about right. Yeah, let them get dry. Here, at Colorado, they get dry pretty fast. Do you mind talking about? And you're talking to me now, shit. Do you mind talking about the science? I mean, you know, I don't film, and, and one of the reasons I don't is is the mechanics of it, just other than the theory of it but here we go I mean, we're gonna know, learn how to feminize how to seeds pollinate an entire room and get eight to ten thousand seeds per plant with a male couple of male plants what i mean you can't do that with sts right you're not getting that cloud right well it really is uh there's a little bit of fine tuning you have to do to maximize the amount of pollen that you're going to get off of the female that's been reversed and it'll never be as much as a real male would in terms of volume of pollen but I, what i do is i usually use two clones of the same female of course that are both being sprayed so now i have two plants that are both pollen sources for the room and i also take them in uh, a week ahead of the females that are going to be flowered so they're getting sprayed and started in flowering for a full week before the other females come in so the tendency with reverse females is that they're going to let the pollen go later and at a smaller volume per day. So it's a timing thing and it's an understanding that, hey, you got to start it a little early so that the pollen's coming at the right time when the flowers are available on the females <clears throat> and in sufficient quantity. And here's how you work on the quantity of pollen that you're going to get out of the female when you're spraying with the SDS. Don't overdo it, err on the light side in terms of how many applications you give the plant. Like, I'll, I'll soak it. Don't, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying only spray it lightly. I mean, spray it good, soak the fucker, but do it every other day or every third day for about two weeks. Total number of applications of, say, seven times, that's it. Because if you overdo it, here's what happens is, the buds look more like a female bud where all the flowers are packed up close to each other, right? And a male flower doesn't work well like that when it's all packed together near his neighbors because they need to open up like a little umbrella, right? And get those stamens hanging there and then get dried out and then the pollen flies out from there. Well, if they're all packed together tight like that, ain't happening. <laughs> and so you get these females that seem to have a ton of male flowers on them and it's like, no pollen's coming out of them, right? So you have to kind of do fewer applications of the STS so that you're actually seeing flowers, both female and male, for a little while until the male flowers start to really predominate and they have the ability, because they're spread apart enough, to get out on those little stalks. You know how a male flower comes out on a little stalk and then that umbrella opens up and the stamens dangle down that's what you want you want to not restrict that activity from happening or else you won't get enough pollen coming out of the female so by fine-tuning the number of applications 
and the timing of how soon you flower it relative to when you're flowering your females, that's how I optimize the number of uh, seeds per plant for feminizing. I have lived long enough, guys. We there it is. Soul tell you fucking guys how to fucking fem how he feminizes live on goddamn Google. That's just you awesome. got that. 